Hi guys, it's Colonel Klauswitz here and I'm um, going to be doing a small review on the new Berlin book as well as the new BF plastics that have come in with the Soviets. So the book itself is actually quite interesting. Uh, you've got about you know 13 pages of um, how it led from sea low heights all the way up. Um, the pictures, I think some of the terrain probably been reused from some of the uh, earlier books, but uh, all in all, you get quite a lot of information and um, you get to see some of the new guns, um, you know, it's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's all pretty good stuff. Um, what, well, what's interesting about these lists is that, uh, firstly, the Germans get enjoy the war. Um, so they always they always enjoy that and then they also ignore the Reich divided so that's important because that means your one IC can join any unit in your army even allied units and that means that they would get um, to re-roll and that's important because over here if you look at their um, the, the list you actually can afford to play um, a total of 488 flak guns and these 88s can be the flak 41s which means that they're AT16 so in the in the in the same book they also give the russian players the IS2s 1944 which is front armor 11 which really has got nothing if you're going to have eight guns which are RF3 uh, AT16 FP3 it's going to be deadly uh, the thing about this list is that you count as an infantry company uh, don't think you can see that. You kind of an infantry company, um, but you can have the option of your compulsory platoons bringing half tracks. So that's interesting. Uh, if you do that, then you potentially could be defending against a, another infantry company, which might not be so kind to them. Um, on the other hand, uh, you also can bring your Hitler Jürgen, which uh, can move and shoot. You also can bring the Volkstrom as your compulsory platoons which at 105 points really means that you can bring a lot of platoons out uh, most of the things do have two options of uh, here as well as Volkstrom so you have a cheaper option uh, albeit risky considering the reluctant conscript your HQ has to be um, your HQ has to be either from the here or the SS so let's see the CV or FV but everything else now what I did like is that the assault guns brought back the Stug H's which uh, have been quite hard to find since Grey Wolf. But uh, these guys are good. These guys are breakthrough guns. Uh, they don't let you bring them in fours, like the other two Stoke Hages, uh, Stoke Gs, but the Stoke Hages come in threes, which, which is good enough, which is good enough. And then you can bring escorts if you wanted to for additional points. Uh, another u new unit is the Bedbug Platoon. Uh, these are basically one of the last few measures that the Reich took to try and stop the Soviet horde of tanks. Um, it's like three Shreks together and they just kind of blow them up so that's that um, so a, a lot of interesting stuff when you get your hands on the book you, you can realize this is it's 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 not too many new things but uh, they do let you play around with a lot more um, options than normal and you also can bring back some of the old toys that you may have lost in Grey Wolf like the elephant makes an appearance here so you can choose that so I know I started out this video log as um, Colonel Clausewitz, but I, I, I gotta say I have been drawn into the Soviet doctrine of doing things, and I think if, if you if you're watching or you're a subscriber, you know that I'm 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 more a Russian player now. So what I think really got a boost in this book were the Soviets. They 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 really they really got some good stuff here. Uh, the IS list not so much. I I thought this list was really good. Now the IS-2s are real monsters now, uh, mainly because of the bedspring uh, armor. That gives you basically Schutzen. If you're a German player, you know what that is. And if you fought German players, you know what that is. It basically blocks off uh, Faust, um, Shrek, Bazookas, whatever, what, what have you. Uh, so you come in two options, the IS, Compound Super Tunes. Um, the company itself, you can't bring that much support, but... Um, you, you can bring some and it's it's got it's got a fair a fairly decent amount of stuff um 
So the IS-2s come in two options, 1943 and 1944. Uh, the only difference being that 1944 version has 11 front armor instead of 1943, which has 10. You can all have 50 cals, bit spring armor, and escorts. If you take all three of these options, you have an assault tank waiting to happen. They can't be stopped. And do remember, the IS-2s have the rear turret MGs. So these guys are real beasts. Real beasts. Um, the I, I, I don't really like the heavy self-propelled artillery regiment, I've I got to say. I, I didn't like them um, because they're how mounted they've got plenty of problems when it comes to defensive fire, infantry attacks, it's vulnerable, its armor is underwhelming, it, it's like a tiger, which in this late late part of the war, it's, it's, it's just a huge point sink. Again, more color, full color video, um, images, very nice. I do like this, and if anyone's watching, I'm actually thinking of doing a Berlin campaign, starting at probably the Silo Heights, and then moving into the the Battle of the City itself, and I'm gonna try and recreate this exact map. So when we fight for the Reichstag, that's it. It's it's gonna be, it's gonna be really awesome. Uh, this is the Red Banner color party, and it's for the third and final list that the book the the Soviets have in this book. Uh, it allows the company which has it um, to get 50 points, pay 50 points, and you can give it to either a Scout Platoon, a Streckle V Polk, or a Hero Sturm Company. Now, uh, two of those companies, the Scouts and the Sturm, are fearless vets. So that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Uh, what it does is it also makes sure that the team or the platoon always benefits from the quality of quantity. So that means that it's always going to take 10 hits to pin you, even in assault. So that's pretty good. Uh, I, I had a bad rep recently, and, and, and that turned out fantastically well. The guy did s three hits, but by right, if I was trained, he would have done a lot more, and I would have been pinned. So that's that. Uh, world is watching means that... Uh, and I think this is going to make it interesting for tournaments, because everyone's going to want to bring it. You can effectively get 7-0 in victory points because of this. If if you use this banner command team within 4 inches and um, you you win, uh, you, you get an additional victory point. Um, so that that's quite interesting. Uh, and then also, the, the funny thing about this is that if you are within 4 inches, so that means you're contesting an objective, an enemy objective, and your opponent captures your objective, the game doesn't end. He's gonna wipe you out, or you can you can you can fight back and wipe him out. So it, it's pretty good. Uh, also, if you if you are playing um, a red army list and you use this, your command team has a motivation rating of fearless. So it kind of it kind of it's kind of good benefit. Uh, the hero stroke platoon, Shakovi Polk platoon, is actually what I consider to be. The best list, and I'll be bringing it for a 1,500 point game uh, coming up soon. Uh, it allows you to have um, so much support, really so much support. I, I won't go into everything, uh, but I, I will point out some of the main things. Um, so this is the Sturm Company. It's really good. It's for 300 points you get possibly FV. Now, what determines if it's FV or FT is whether you're playing a Red Army list or a Guards list. So, if you're playing a guards list, then your army is all FT, and when you buy the Sturm Company, it becomes FV. If you're playing a red army list, then your whole army is CT, and when you buy it, it becomes FT. So I hope I'm being pretty clear there. You have start with 9 squads, and you can, if you want, buy the 3rd platoon, and it comes to another 4. So it's it's very much like the Red Bear edition. If anyone, if if you guys have played that before, there are three Storm companies each, and um, you can swap them out to be Maxim HMGs, SMG teams, Pioneer SMG. I don't know why they put SMG teams. I mean, everyone would take a Pioneer SMG rather than an SMG. Uh, but then you've also got Panzerfaust. You've got MG teams, PTRDs, everything. Now the fun thing about this is that you can even swap them out to be forty five mm OBRs. And um, if, if you wanted to, you could even take out two of them and you could get a 76 Zeiss 3. Uh, two, two of them, yeah. If, if, if you really want to be crazy, 
with a brand new unit that appears here, you could take out three Storm teams and you'd have a 203 MMOBR 1931, which is a building destroyer. It's it's not a it's not a friendly it's not a friendly uh, team to play. Um, here they have the Hero Strakovi Flame Thrower team. I'm um, not sure if you can see that. Uh, so you could pay, you know, 100, 200 points. It, it's very much like the Red Bear Flamethrower Platoon where you have to combat attach everything out. Uh, same thing, RF4, Firepower 6, fairly decent. Uh, there is a, a clause here, they can join the Hero Assault Sappers, which make an appearance, yeah, you're gonna see that later. Um, they are, they also gain whatever skill rating and motivation rating of the company they join. So if you put them with the FV, they become FV. Which is pretty sick, considering the next thing I'm going to show you are the scouts. So the scouts over here can actually... Uh, sorry, sorry. The scouts over here can actually help you infiltrate as normal. But with the infantry and with the flamethrowers, it basically means you could infiltrate 8 inches in front of somebody with flamethrowers and assault squad with you know, armed with HMGs, Motars, whatever, and just blow this guy out of the sky. But uh, yeah, I mean, everything comes at a point, uh, at a cost, and these things are expensive. Uh, I was a little bit sad that these guys lost their Pioneer ability, which they had in Red Beer, for some of them, and they don't even have half tracks, and they cost the same number of points. So go figure. Um, one thing is interesting though, guys. Um, the Red Banner can be given to this platoon. And that means it replaces its command team, and that you means still benefit that from cautious movement. So you are always concealed, gone to ground. <laughs> so it, it it's 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 a fairly good it's a fairly good list. The heavy motor over here is the hundred and twenty pm thirty eight motor, but it's not as good as the new motors which have made their way into this book. Um, flame tanks are back, which are very very interesting. They come up to four, and because you are all heroes it means that all your flames gonna happen at 3 plus which is pretty damn good um, I, I, I am a little bit sad that you couldn't bring the SU 85s that that did kind of disappoint me um, I, I, I thought that was quite sad because then now my only AT 12 is to bring the T 34 slash 85s which I think everyone knows from the desperate measure list they're overpriced and it, it's, it just doesn't make sense I'd rather have something with cat killers, far range, could 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 possibly have a prolonged or protracted fight. And in my battle report, you can see that that's the kind of problem I faced. The T thirty four eighty five just weren't cutting it. Um. Oh, this is really interesting. Um, the heavy assault tank company. It's really good. It it kind of it's the only thing that makes me want to play the hull mounted ISUs. Now what happens is you can bring your T-34s with your ISUs. So because of hit allocation, you'd go straight to them first, uh, the T-34s, protecting your ISUs, which kind of helps you fight off the drawback of having to move your unit in first and then take a round of firing before firing back. So that's pretty good. Um, and then they also, if they want to take out your IS-2s, they have to gun tank. Uh, in my battle rep, you would have saw, seen that that didn't go very well. Uh, he hit long range, concealed, and then he he gun tanked me, and I failed my save, and then he passed his firepower. He blew up my one IS-2. I-I-ISU, uh, ISU-1522. Um, they only have one slot for this, which is sad, because the assault gun company comes in the same slot as, um, ISU-1522. As a lot of things, so it, it, it becomes a little bit difficult to play a lot of tanks here. Uh, but you are an infantry company, so there is some benefit there. Uh, the other veteran squad here is the Hero Tank Destruction. Fairly good, uh, comes with the Zeiss 2 options, or the Zeiss 3 options, or the new BM. Not not new, I mean, but 100, 100 mm, which are not bad at 40, 40 inches or 48 inches. They, they fire pretty well. Uh, they also have Cat Killers, and now that they're veteran, it does make it a little bit more survivable. Um, I think everyone here uh, would like to see this. Uh, the Assault Sappers are back, ladies and gentlemen. The Pioneer SMG teams, which we all loved in Red Bear, they're back. They have their body armor and they have their smoke pots. Oh, something to note, the Storm Company comes with smoke pots. So generally, every time I attacked, 
if you saw my bad rap. Uh, they, we wrote 3 plus, assigned two teams to it. On the 3 plus, you're gonna get it. And it's 5 plus to hit, they need 10 to hit. So, on average, you need 30 shots to stop me. Um, I, I mean, shit happens, but you know, you get my point. Uh, these guys cost a pretty penny though. They're about they're 445 points for, for, for fucking like 13 of them. It's not cheap. But uh, you can bring Faust, you can bring all those things. You can't. They, they, they lost the Faust sneaker along the way. I, I don't know why. I mean, that was such a good idea, just shooting Faust at things, especially buildings. Um, and then uh, this is the new, another new unit, uh, the 160 Motar Battalion. Uh, fairly good squad, uh, good pricing, good everything, and they're heroes. So when you use artillery here, artillery really benefits from the hero rules. With a 3 plus, they, they'd be able to do a lot of things. Um, you do have the ability to bring a whole 8 man gun platoon of the um, 203s, and that is bloody deadly. I, I have to say that. It's, it's really, really scary. Um, and then of course if you if you mix it up and you and you bring the one two two MMs and things like that you could get a really good pie plate, really really good pie plate. Um, the BMs are here as normal, so that that's nothing new. Um, the rest of the list is quite it's quite standard. Uh, so in essence, you've you've got a you've got a pretty you've got a pretty good um, ability. That, I mean, they they did they did kind of work this out, which is pretty good because I. For the love of me, I could never paint those. Um, yeah, so it, it's a pretty good book. I, I suggest you guys get it. Uh, take a look at it. Um, the, the the reading is fantastic. Uh, as, as someone who wanted to do Berlin before this book came out, um, it, the book has really kind of helped me out a lot with um, a lot of the details and a lot of the 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 the, the, uh, the maps, especially because I only knew where the Zoo Flag Tower was, but now with the map inside the book, I kind of figured out where exactly it is. So for the campaign, I can use that. Uh, I like the spirit of the Berlin German list. It's it's very last man, uh, fight to the last man kind of feel to it. With the Volkstrom all over the place. Reductant conscripts, you know, just throwing all the bodies you can. And um, I mean, it, it's just such a... Uh, ever since I started playing Soviets, I've been looking more and more at the Eastern Front history and it's it's just so so good that the culmination of the battle is going to come here and it's where two conflicting ideologies fought to the last man and last breath and they they, they really gave it their all uh so I, i'm planning a really big game for the silo heights I, I hope you guys can take a look so enough of the book uh let's take a look at the latest uh in the line of bf these are the there we go. These are the new plastics. Um, maybe that's a bit too bright. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's enough. So these are new plastics. I've I've based them on um, these um, urban rubble bases. I, I've touched them up and everything. These are not done. Actually, none of these are done. Uh, but I just want to show you some of the poses and things like that. Um, I, I, if I added in this is my red banner, so that's. Hmm, I don't know what you guys think of that. It's not done yet. I'm still trying to fix the the, the cobblestone, trying to make them pop because, you know, you pay so much for the cobblestones and and you really want to make sure that 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 sticks. Uh, and they're fighting in the city, so they're all kind of charging forward. You're gonna need a lot of these guys. I'm still working on my size three guns, which are gonna take some time. Um. What 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 you might want to note down is that the sprues itself they they come in about they they all come with uh, HMG Maxim HMGs so that's something like that uh, sorry uh, it's it's they they're good casts I mean BF always does a pretty good job with the lifelike uh, images and the details um, for fifteen mm. Uh, what I what I what I gotta say though, B Battlefront, if you're listening, is that I'm a little bit disappointed uh, because the number of poses you gave us was just this and um, this. So uh, if any of you bought the Grenada squads, um, the Panzer Grenada German lists, you'd realize they gave you about. Um, if correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, 
they give you two different sprues uh, of guys which you know you had smocks you had no smocks you had knackers you had fouls you had smgs you had rifles you had mgs you had you had a lot of stuff so you could really do a lot of things um this one they gave you only rifle mgs and they gave you uh six of this sprue which, which is just it's just it's overkill it that that's what they gave they gave me six of this uh, instead of like you know three of one and three of one, so it, it made it very difficult. There, there was a commissar here. There's a there's a commander on the top top left here. Uh, I mean I don't know how many of you use six commissars and how many of you use six battalion commanders. Uh, and then the HMGs were a nice touch, but th it's just the lack of flexibility which I find it was a little bit ill conceived by by BF. I I I feel so I feel a little bit. Um, bummed out by that uh, and then I mean my storm groups are SMG and they didn't take that into account so now I need to go and find the old lead for SMG squads and use these for rifle MGs or rifles um, in total if I if I did four man a stand I, I, I'd get you know maybe 30 stands out of this uh, but I don't do that I always play my guys as 5-4 uh, 5 wait 5-4, five, 5-4, four, five, four, five, four. and then of course the, the red banner team is just a red banner team. So um, that's it for my product review. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a little vlog if I can for my Berlin campaign if that ever comes to fruition. And um, yeah, I, I, I hope you guys can pick up your games uh, for the Berlin book. Uh, let me know in the comments below whether uh, it's good, it's bad, whatever. Um, yeah. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, that's Colonel Klauswitz out.